What is Gucci Khan eaters? My name is Push, aka the Creative Queer, the masculine cotton eating queen. Kum kani kazi a drip, magazi we fit, and welcome back to it another video. Um, yeah, welcome back to yet another video, man, guys. Uh, today, you know, I think over the last maybe over the holiday, I've been really reflecting on my career as a stat. Call it a career, um, because I've never. I didn't always present like this. I wasn't really too much of a tomboy. Um, yes, I was a little bit, but I did dabble in some femininity once upon a time. But eventually, as this is Josie Amba, maybe I'll share it in another video. But as this is Josie Amba, no life, it goes on. Um, I've eventually kind of transitioned into this very masculine presenting person that I am today. And there are some peculiar things that I've come to know. Um, when it comes to uh, presenting, what's the time? One o'clock. Um, when it comes to presenting masculine, and I think one of the things that have been very fascinating for me is the unspoken beef amongst studs. I want to talk about it because none of y'all studs want to admit it. None of you guys want to acknowledge it. And I think part of it, if you acknowledge it, it means, you know, you understand that it exists and to a certain degree, you are part of the reason or part of the problem. So I let me let me be the first one to 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 start the conversation. You guys must tell me in the comment section what are some of the reasons um, that you think there's this beef among studs. I also asked you guys on Instagram a couple of moons ago why you know some of the reasons um, why you think studs have this beef amongst themselves. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit at the end of the at, at the end of the episode. Um, before I tell you my reasons, so let's do that. Let's hang if you want to hang around for that. Let's roll the bumper. Masambi. Okay, so I've um, I've written a couple of reasons why I think uh, uh, there's a beef among studs. <laughs> you guys will guide me, and a lot of these things are based off off of what I've learned about human nature. Um, and also kind of what I've learned in the subculture of Ubu statism. Yeah, statism. We're going to call it statism. <laughs> um, okay, reason number one, I think um, there's a beef. It's because masculinity for me, or how I've understood it, it's based off of, or it's fueled by a lot of uh, ego. And now if you know anything about the ego, the ego is very fragile. The ego... Um, the ego is very fragile, man. It 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 come we touch and go with ego. Um, it's based off of things that can disappear in a day. Based off of looks, looks. Um, the actress and the asset movie looks like was pale. Money, imali inga pale ngoku. We we've seen we COVID nineteen. Ya pale imali abantu. I marriages are pasalaga amongst heterosexual women. You know, it's 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 very it's touch and go. So. Of course, um, in a society or in a subculture like that, there's gonna exist that competition. It's very performative. It's very, you know, who can do it best. It's very competitive in its nature. So I think number one, that's why there's a beef amongst us because we are competing. Now I'm gonna get into why we're competing, but there's a beef amongst us because it's based off of ego. It's based off of a very fragile masculinity that wants to be the best, that wants to be seen that wants to perform so of course of course it's going to be fragile but yeah at the base of it all i think it's it's just based off of masculinity which is very fragile and yeah man we'll compete because of those uh, things reason number two i think studs are beefing is because of an unspoken societal or subcultural hierarchy um so because we're competing there is a social hierarchy that exists that says, you know, I have to be the best dress. I have to be the light, the be, the light skinnedness. I have to be the best looking. I have to be the one with the most money because I need to be on top of the social hierarchy. So if I acknowledge another stud there, it means that I acknowledge you exist and I need to now put you somewhere in this social hierarchy and usually if i am acknowledging you it means you are my peer or you are above me but if i don't acknowledge you it means below me 
So why must I greet you? Because you're below me. And I'm a bully, so I'm below me. Because when I'm a fan, that's the, the thinking. There's a social hierarchy that exists. And unfortunately, when you look at another star walk into a room, you're like, I need to place her. And I need to place me. And see, ba. But me, look at my hands. Do you see them shaking? No, because nobody's better than me. That's literally how I think what happens in the head of a stud when they see another stud across the room. It's like, it's a social hierarchy and it's like, mm, where am I going to place you in the social hierarchy? How can I interact with you so that I can show you this is where I put you in the social hierarchy? So I think the reason number two is that, is that it's that social hierarchy and the placement. Where do I put you in this, in this hierarchy? And I place you where you are. Place you, my nigga. Um, reason number three. Reason number three, I think, is competition for the attention of women. Now, let me, let's talk about this. Because I think, to a certain degree, I'm also guilty of this. Um, uh, and I think, as a society, as a whole, young woman, we all, even heterosexual women, compete for the attention of men. So... This is nothing odd or out of the ordinary or something new. We are all competing for the special attention of women because everything we do is for the bitches. I get a fresh fade. I need a woman to acknowledge that I had a fresh fade, you know? The attention and the acknowledgement and the validation of feminine presenting women that we are attracted to is very important to a stud's ego. You know what I'm saying? So because we're competing for the same beautiful woman, we're competing for um for for the love and the attention and the validation of women so it's like nah b if if, if you're my competitor you're my up if we up yeah I'm, i don't want you anywhere close to me you know what i'm saying i want all the attention of women to myself it's just a very selfish you know i just want i want it all to me you know and if 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 you're gonna come sit next to me you're gonna now take a piece of that pie you're gonna encroach on my territory you know what i'm saying so it's based off of that it's like if you come close to me you're gonna take my women and you know what guys it's not it's not non-existent this competition for women i want to guys i want to tell you guys a story um i was at an event right um and then i was dancing with this beautiful hand hey me are we dancing we're dancing hey good man good man good man it was actually at new year's it was uh, yeah it was at new year's dancing with this beautiful hand hey we, we're bumping and grinding she's winding her way she's backing it up she's throwing it back she's doing everything you know and i'm like mm. I'm gonna kiss her at midnight. She's the one, you know. Bambile, ah, Pandwana, Bambile, Dwana, Bambile, you know. Nalando in your head. Then, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, countdown time, hey, it's almost midnight. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Me, I'm thinking, uh, of course, we've been dancing the whole night. She's gonna give me a kiss. She goes and kisses another stud. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So there is that competition. I'm like, nigga, you were looking at my girl this whole time. I put in the work. I've been bumping and grinding with her this whole night. And then you come sweeping, sweeping in at countdown to take my girl. So that competition here exists, guys. I won't lie, Shem. Yeah, exista. I don't care how not vain you want to seem to be. It exists. It's like so for me, like as a as a as a, as, a, as a participant of the subculture, I'm always gonna feel like after that incident, especially, I'm always gonna feel like I don't want no stud around me because they're gonna take my women. They're gonna take my and my ruthless, my ruthless. And I'm not gonna lie. I've also been on the other side of the coin in the sense that. I've tried to take somebody's girl too. And that thing again is based on ego. If I take your woman, it means I'm better than you. Because, um, and I'm not saying this is what I believe, but I think this is the vanity of it all, that we just have to just speak about it. It's out there, you know? I've, at a party, um, I was dancing, I was dancing, and then 
the start was with her feminine presenting uh, girlfriend, and yeah, she was she was hot. Okay, she was hot. So don't blame me. Don't blame me. She was hot. Then the start girlfriend goes to the bathroom. I think eh. the femme looks at me. I look at her. She sees me. I see her see me. You know what I mean? We look at each other, and I'm like, ooh. I come dance a bit closer to her. Hey, hey she's feeling me. Hey, ibu, girlfriend from the bathroom. And of course, that's how I would be if I come back from the bathroom and you're bumping and grinding with my chick. Bitch, move. So, and I was like, all is fair in love and war, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and not to say that I was trying to take a chick, but I was just like, I was saying, what's up, you know? Connix, Connix, wrong with my Lisa. Bullies and gay hips. <laughs> so there is that competition amongst us. Um, competition for resources, competition for women. Um, and it's just always going to be there because we're competing for resources. It's not even something I'm trying to change. Um, if I'm, I'm going to steal your bitch. True play for real. Utino <laughs> Asha. Don't leave your girl around me, true play it for real. <laughs> so it's just it's just one of those things, man. You know, you gotta charge it to the game, okay? The game is cold, you better go a slamba because they're gonna take your bitch while you're sleeping. So yeah, I'm doing the right in this industry of Uba Sistat I don't know the number, I think number four. Um it's not really really a reason. I'm just like do we really have to be like kumbaya and like one big happy family? Do we? Um, Cause me personally, sometimes I don't really relate to studs a lot. Um, I think my masculinity starts and ends at how I dress, how I present and how I am and my personality. I'm very sassy. I say darling at the end of the sentence. So I don't really relate to other studs. Um, especially studs who are very masculine, um, who are very poch, um, those kind of studs. I don't really relate to them. I'm not on Guanaka Kasi. I grew up in the suburbs. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, and also, I do feel that some of you are just toxic, you know? Some of you, you know, our children just listen to the conversations that are being had and it's just like you refer to feminine presenting women as as like these things and it's not even that you're saying but there are these things but it's just like how it's almost like how you view yourself. You view yourself as a man and uh, you're almost um yeah, you view yourself as a man and you see women as these objects that are being consumed. What what is Girl, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yamucha, gangena pa, daso, mfage daso. That thing, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Respect women. Respect yourself. Don't speak about women like that. Some of you guys are abusers. Like, I gotta be careful who I'm trying to be friends with because, guys, there are so many abusers that are being outed um, in 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 the queer community. We abuse and that just hits women or hits feminine presenting women because we're all women. Um, so it's just not nice. It's not an enjoyable experience to befriend somebody who has a history like that. Um, so I sometimes just don't relate to you guys, to be honest with you. It's not really even beef or competition. It's like, I'm cool. I'd rather be hanging out with a group of feminine uh, women and Sbemoja. And of the friends that I have, I have maybe a couple of masculine presenting friends. And Bona, they are very mature by age, yeah, mature, secure women who also dress well um, and who also have their own sense of like personal style. And I think um those are the kind of people I want to be friends with. I want to be friends with women that are secure, women who have their own personal style, who don't look at me as competition, who don't look at me with envy. You, I want to dress like her, who not, don't, not even like what I dress like. Don't look at me and want what I have. I don't like, 
I think a lot of masculine presenting people that I've met, they look at me and it's like, they want what you have. They want your girl. They want to dress like you. They want proximity to you because they think that because you dress well, it means you up there in the social hierarchy. Meaning, you know, if you're associated with me, it means that you are gonna bump up the ladder so those energies i tend to shy away from i really really enjoy the friendships that i do have with the masculine presenting women that are in my life very secure mature women who have their own personal style don't look at me like you know i want to dress like her they look at me and say we are and we are for your personal style and we compliment each other and you know it's not about ego you know it's about friendship and also the friendship itself is not based off of the love of women, you know. I've had to cut off each home as in Jalo in my life. I think as a, as a masculine presenting person who wants to have queer friends, I've had to pick and choose because I've had friendships where the only thing we talk about is bitches. Hey, Lona. Oh, Lona. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, this girl did this. Oh, this girl. Lona Funa Lona. Hey, hey, my girlfriend this. My he, he, he. I don't enjoy friendships like that. My masculinity starts and ends in how I dress. And obviously, um, there's other things to talk about in a friendship. I don't want to always be talking about women. You know? No. Okay? But for me, um, when I do see masculine presenting women out in society, over and above all the bullshit and everything else, I do feel like, Ish, I'm acknowledged. It's nice to see a reflection of yourself in society, to see that I exist and I exist. There's more than one of us. There's more than one of us. There's more than one of us who dress in the male section, especially when I see you guys in the male section. I'm like, my nigga. I said, great, there's a because I'm actually, I can't wear them anyway. So I feel very, I feel very seen when I see another masculine presenting person. And I wish other masculine presenting people, um, women particularly, could see it like that, that, you know, you feel seen. It's like, yo, show, show, bra, show, bra, I am, show, and I am, yeah, um, And stop making it about competition because for me, it's like, I have my own personal style. You, you will never be, what's that TikTok sound? It's a... You can beat me, but you cannot beat my outfit. You know, I have that attitude about myself that I have my own personal style. And it doesn't matter who walks into the room, what kind of best dress that there is, she ain't never gonna be dressed better than me. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Because I know I have my own personal style. I'm jiggy, I'm cool. I have my own kind of fly. And I attract my own kind of women. So I'm now a Ryoba, you know, when I went and what do you bring, you know? I'm me and you are you, you know what I'm saying? So I'd want us to move towards that kind of a direction as studs, you know? Like, my personal style, you know? You know? So that you can sit with other people that are best dressed and it's not like a big deal, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, those are some of the reasons that I've come up with um, that I think is the reason why studs have a beef. Um, let me read some of the things that you guys have told me um, and we shall discuss Okay, this is what <laughs> some of you guys have said um, This one said this is anonymous on 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 thingy on Instagram. I asked you guys uh, Some couple of moons ago uh, This one says it's misplaced sexual tension sometimes <laughs> Misplaced sexual tension in other words I won't lie I see that in the phone but at the time, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't dressed as masculine as I typically would. I was dressed like Wali and then in Funa and then in Funa in my But i back. But I've I've never really met a star or have it had an encounter where it feels like in the Amfuna is that like that. And I'm also dressed in in like masculinity way. So I don't know if Siafuna and Siafuna guys in the comment section tell me about na. Uh, the next one says, I think it's insecurities, especially if you're a pretty mask. They automatically think you are after their women. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, that is true. It's insecurities. And, I'm, and, I, and you know, 
I don't want us to dismiss and laugh and say, ha ha ha, it's an insecurity. Oh, you're just insecure. They have reason to be insecure. Because if them, one thing about if them, Femmes are cheaters out there. We haven't spoken about this, but one thing about if, like in the in the same example, I was um I was I was I was I was saying to you guys that I was at a party. Next thing, her stud girlfriend goes to the bathroom. Next thing, she's looking at me, and I'm like looking at you, like what are you looking at me for? You know what I mean? It does happen that uzawaamba umduwako if a pretty stud looks her way uzawaamba because there is I think amongst the queer community there's a lot of vanity I won't lie there's a lot of vanity it's about pretty looks it's about popularity it's about class about money um, and it it makes sense because Sima is an allies group in the same way black people compete for resources amongst themselves Iba always amongst the queer community that. You know that there's this uh, competition for beautiful women and this insecurity for me it's very valid it's not it's not it's not out of the sky so in as much as it's an insecurity it comes from somewhere it comes from somewhere and the next one says is this is this a norm we don't we don't know about it in kzn because we give each other a nod in kzn Hmm, I don't know. I'm not a KZN stud, but just based off of knowing um, uh, Zulu people, I, I could imagine that it's like a bafo, a bafo, show bafo. You know, it's like that camaraderie kind of a thing um, that is that exists amongst Zulu people. Um, but if you come to Joburg, darling, I eat a two hundred lei. Well, not a well to. You're not a well to again. The next one says, we all misinterpret social anxiety. It's not always the case, but most of the time. Social anxiety, mm, perhaps, perhaps, maybe you want, you see someone and you're like, ah, oh, they, they, cause you know, you're like, ah, oh, they dress so nice. I wish they could be my friend. Cause I'm also kind of interested in fashion like that. So it's like, ah, I don't know how to approach uh, shooting my shot as a friend. Um, so it could be that, it could be that. Um, but for me, just to give uh, studs out there a tip, if you see a stud and you're like, mm, I really want to be their friend, literally be like, yo, I love your sneaker, bro. You just comment on something on the, about the outfit and then take the conversation from there. I've done this a couple of times. It's worked. Where I've met a stud, and I'm like, yo, I like this hat, and then after that, and then we end up exchanging numbers and becoming friends. So if you want to be a friend with a star that you see somewhere, just compliment something of theirs and then take it from there. The next one says, but toxic, everything is competitive. Kubi and every other mask, Han, is a threat. It's giving bitchy, even femmes aren't that petty. Nabo, <laughs> to be honest with you like it's just like it's, it's so high school also it's just very petty and it's very high school so i agree with you 100 percent uh this one says nothing bores me more your main character syndrome does eh? and most of the cases in the insecurities get the best of them i your competition betuna oaks we need to get out of oaks need to get out of their heads being weird to the next mask presenting woman is big loser energy it it gives work it gets worse when you're conventionally attractive i mean you said it you said it um to always think that you're the main character to always think that you're the hottest to always think that all the femmes want you to always think that um you know you you have to be beyonce in every room to always think that you everybody's cup of tea it's 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 it's, it's a loser energy you know what i'm saying um even i the prettiest dad in the world <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding um yeah and i think for me it's it's it goes with maturity this thing yeah. because for some reason you do tell yourself if you're like a conventionally uh, a pretty stud or you're popular or you whatever the case may be you're up there in the hierarchy you know you do tell yourself that psh, psh, all the all the women want me you know what i'm saying and sometimes it takes a couple of rejections here and there to humble you but are you a cup of tea 
of everybody. Not everybody finds you attractive, and that's okay. You know, wongo mtu ne type ya ke. I was by type ya wongo mtu. There are feminine presenting women, and this is something I've learned as well. There are feminine presenting women who absolutely are attracted to um, the most butch, butch, butch stud that is out there. And now for me, I have a lot of femininity, and that's not attractive to some of the feminine presenting women that are out there, you know? So uh, it's a lesson that they will learn themselves once they get rejected, I guess. Um, but it is very true. Main character syndrome is very big loser energy, to be honest with you. Um, next one says, we see each other as competition, to be honest. To be honest, women hate each other. Yeah, I mean, I know to hate. Okay, yeah, there is a level of, of dislike and hate amongst each other, I guess. Omni um, I think it's an inferiority complex. Yep. Just like I said to you guys that, you know, if you have an inferiority complex, you want to uh, put everybody below you. You know, you walk into a room and you check yourself. But, ah, oh, on this hierarchy, where am I? And where am I placing this next person, you know? So it's always about that. Um, the next one says, more than anything else, I think it has to do with adopting a toxic masculinity trait, which brings a lot, which brings a notion of, you're going to steal my woman. And as if, we, and as if they're more wrong. Yes. So this is what I was saying earlier in one of my points that I was making, that it is adopting toxic masculinity traits from men. Or mangati from men, but masculinity in itself, it's very toxic and it's very fragile. Um, so it's like, you're going to steal my woman. And my thing is like, like I gave you the example when I was at a party and she stole my women. It's my, it's my lived experience. So what must I do now when you're saying that there's a notion of you're going to steal my woman? I do feel like you're going to steal my woman because you've stole, my woman has been stolen before. In fact, you know what Nagi Apa is? Like up the ring, like a ZFEMS. Why are they stealable? Why can't I leave my fem here, go to the bathroom, and come back? And she's not going to be looking the other way. In like up, guys, let's not fight amongst each other as that. In like ZFEMS, ZFEMS, Nandicho, Dicho, guys, Nicho, Nicho. Um, because Nyani, I've told you my story of how this girl took my girl, you know what I'm saying. And the thing is, for me, I'm not even. Unlike men, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't take it too personal. I don't feel like she was mine in any case. Like if this situation, if this example happened amongst two men, that man would probably go to his car, get his gun and shoot that nigga up. But my, my ego is not that fragile. I charged it to the game. Obviously I was hacked. But I charge into the game. Like there are many women out there, and she's not the first, and she's not the last. You know, so it is what it is. Um, this next one says, personally, I've seen other mass queens, but I feel like a groupie each time I acknowledge them. Never understood the hostility, but I think it's because we feel threatened, and this be the case with women in general. We're constantly made to feel like. To feel like there's not enough room for two queens to coexist yes oh my goodness you've put it so eloquently it's like two queens can exist in one room if this queen is the queen of the earth or maybe queen of the sun or maybe queen of the moon this is what i'm saying about like your personal style if you if in a personal style like nj omni cannot mimic and duplicate the same personal style like you buy a queen in your own right like stand in your own um but anyway yeah man those are some of the reasons that you guys thought and i also think that my pele beef man guys like let's love each other you know, um, let's let's respect each other. Let's not take each other's women. I'm saying each other's women in the sense of nobody belongs to anyone in this world. But let's not break each other, man, guys. There's enough films to go around. Let's just like calm down, okay? Just calm down. Um, let's not let's not do that, man. Let's let's love each other. I think. Oh, what harm? <laughs> 
But yeah, man, let's just respect each other, man, and and not not break each other in parties, not take people's women, nanny fems. You guys are the ones who are making us fight amongst each other. Like, don't be stealable. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm appealing to you guys. Ah, uh, but anyways, um, yeah, man. I'll see you in the next video. You guys, tell me in the comment section. What are some of the reasons? In fact, what's your experience of this competition, this unspoken competition amongst um, asking presenting women? Tell me what are some of your experiences um, in the comment section. Tell me some of your reasons why you are not greeting another butch or another stud in the bathroom. Tell me why you're beefing with them in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace in the Middle East. Literally, somebody last week said, I can't eat it in Middle East. And I forgot. In my other, my first video, I literally forgot because I, I was like, bye. <laughs> but literally, peace, guys, in the Middle East. Free Palestine, baby. Bye.